Another train on a train. No! <laughs> Yesterday, I looked at Create Interactive. <laughs> yeah, when trains start flying, I get happy. Usually with contraptions on bearings with Create, you can't change anything as soon as you make it move. So this thing right here, you'd not be able to interact with. But now you can. This is so cool. I mean, if we just stand on this thing, we start with... So yesterday I mentioned that if I build a wall on here and I look into the wall, you cannot even tell that we're moving. But if I turn around, you can very much tell that we're moving. So my first idea of today is to torture villagers. Why? Yeah, of course. But what? I want to know what it's like to just glue a villager house together. Something like this. <laughs> yeah. And then we head underground. We place a bearing here and then we make it spin. <laughs> Okay, so we're in the house now, and as you can tell, everything is completely normal, except for the bed is sort of blinking. And if we uh, walk outside the door, <laughs> you wake up to a new view every morning. Wow. Let me just jump off. Uh, hi, Jerry. Uh, seems like my house. <laughs> just imagine how hard the developers worked on this. And I'm out here making villager houses spin. This this must be just horrible for them. So the thing is, we can place blocks in here, and I'm pretty sure we can place chests. That should... Yeah, see? Everything works, and it even opens up all of the animations. How about we spawn ourselves a little villager here? Is that gonna work? Yeah. Yep, he's moving with his feet. I don't know if he understands what's going on here. No shells, he does not. It's a Minecraft villager. What? Uh, okay, so the villager might be a bit confused that we are... <laughs> All right, this is where I need to get... I'm actually getting dizzy, right? All right, I need to spin a larger area because that's too small and it's making me dizzy. This is the max, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is where we want to place the mechanical bearing. Oh, like that, with creative order. Oh, yep, it looks like we are moving. Why am I getting dizzy from looking at a screen? I don't... Brain? No. Oh, ah. New villager torture device unlocked. <laughs> oh, wait. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> It's training time. Yep, and not the training you expect. No, I'm talking about trains. So while editing yesterday's video, I had an idea. What if we make a train and place explosives on it? Let's make our little train here. Just the classic slabs and the train controls in a seat. And I guess let's super glue it and then add TNT after we've assembled the whole thing. Like that. There we go. Okay, so this train now works. Yes. Oh yeah, and I also changed the acceleration of the trains. So they're really fast now, which is nice. All right, TNT. Here we go. I want to see what happens. So this TNT is now connected to the train, right? If I move forward, you see it goes with the train. But what if I light it? So my guess is this is going to fall out into the real world and then blow up. Actually, let's not do that next to the other TNTs. So if we torch this now, boom. Yes, that is so nice. The way it just falls. I wonder if it's going to make the TNT on the train explode. Like if I light you. No! Oh, well, I guess we just have to see now. No! Oh! Oh! Oh, the train! <laughs> Oh my god, it's still flying! Time to make another train then, I guess. <laughs> I can just hear all the villagers screaming down there because <laughs> So here's the plan. We're gonna build a floor over here. And then we're gonna place a bunch of TNT on here. Just like this. And then I'm gonna light one of the TNTs and drive off the edge with the train. Hopefully straight into the village. <laughs> and then we'll see what happens. Alright, I'm gonna have to be faster. I light the TNT and then we go on and drive really fast. Okay, three, two, one, boom. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Alright, the train- oh my god, the train ended up in- <laughs> So the train went on to here and started spinning with this house. That's neat. Did we blow anything up other than the train? Uh, looks like we did not. <laughs> okay, that was way- Oh yeah, we did! <gasps> we blew up the neighbor's house! Let's go! Alright, so here's another thing I want to test out. Can we make trains on top of these spinning worlds? Because I think we should be able to do it. I can't think of a reason why we would not be able to. And we'll start with just super gluing as much as we can here. Just need to make sure everything's connected here. Mac, That's everything glued! All right, let's get the mechanical bearing, our creative motor, and make everything spin. Ooh, that's nice. The fact that this isn't crashing my game is just so cool. All right, so we're on the spinning thing. You can't really see it. I guess if we see the sun... Yeah, <laughs> the sun's spinning. That means we're spinning. So let's see. Let's just make some train tracks here. It, it, okay, so this is kind of wonky, but it is working. It looks... No. No, yeah, oh, yep. It's working. It is a bit weird with orientation and everything. And I have to like turn with the turns, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and place it really quickly. Okay, well, I mean, that makes sense. I need to, can we, oh. and then turn. Yes, please. Man, I hope we can make a train on here. So for some reason, I can't see the train station marker thing when I hold the block. That is a bit scary. I don't know. Oh, no, that works. Okay, it's in the other direction from the one I looked in, but that's fine. Create new train. Is this? This is? This is working. What? Wait, does this mean we can make trains on trains? Oh, I need to test that out as well. But now I went off the thing and my train is leaving me. Let's see slab and seat and train controls with the super glue. Boom. Let's assemble. Okay, the buggy's gone. <laughs> the buggy's left the game. And if we sit on the seat, we sit inside of the train controls, uh, which... Yeah. Can we still drive it though? Oh! <gasps> 
We can. Oh my. We're driving a super speed train on top of a spinning platform with an invisible buggy. And if you hold space, we can approach the station. There is no way this is actually a thing. Yeah, that's all right. We need to make a train on a train. If we can make a train on a train, that'll be the end of my YouTube channel. I'll probably pass out. Doctor will prescribe no more create mod trains for shells because he makes me too excited. And my blood pressure is insane right now. All right, so I'll make my little locomotive train here with our seat and controls. And then back here, I'll make the train 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 with the train on the train. <laughs> We'll super glue this and then assemble and it should just all be connected like normal. Yeah, and we can drive this. Yeah So what I want to do now is build this out so we can fit some train tracks on here and then see what happens <laughs> Look at this if we make a train on here. Ah, oh, man. It looks like we're gonna be able to have a train on a train Let's assemble it, please. Yes. Oh my wait we got a train on a train. It's trainception. Oh, wow. Wait, I need to make the train that's underneath move so we can see if it actually works when the other train is going. But I need to make a circular track for that. Come on. Like that. Yes. And then connect, please. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, my. This is actually happening. Let's get a chicken and a train schedule here. I'll place you in the train. Thank you very much. And then we just need to name this train station, you know, train station one. And we'll have another one over here and call it train station two. And in the train schedule, we want it to go to train station two and then just immediately leave a schedule delay of uh, nothing and then go to number one with a schedule delay of nothing okay so when i give this to the chicken now it's gonna start driving but i think the train's gonna be really fast because as i said i changed the config so let's actually go in and reset this because i don't want to break the game because the train is too fast reset all confirm let's give this to the chicken and see what happens we are moving and the train is moving with the train i'm 100 percent sure at this point that this is gonna work here we go <laughs> We're doing it. We're going back and forth with a train on a train. And we can approach the station as well. Go up to here. Yep. And this... <laughs> It works. Wait, let's disassemble this while we're on the move and go ahead and make ourselves another train on a train on top of the train. Wait, let's see. Here, we'll glue this together and then assemble the train. Yes. If we can make a train on a train on a train, this video is over. <laughs> oh, we're starting to lag a bit here. I, yeah, my God. I'm not sure that this is going to work. So let's see. We've got another train on a train. I can't see the create bogey thing though. No. Is it not possible to make another train? It looks like... No. Oh, oh, oh. There is actually no way. Placing the blocks is kind of hard. Uh, the super glue is kind of weird. No, there we go. And assemble. Do we? No! Oh! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> we had a train on a train, but then I went off the edge instantly, and the train went off the train. But we can still drive the train tracks on the train tracks. What if I get this train off the train? Can we also? <laughs> There's one more thing I want to know about the bearings. So I'm still not sure about the propagator bearing and what it does, because my understanding of it was that when you make a normal mechanical bearing and make it spin, you couldn't have other mechanical bearings on this that would work. But I mean, if we test that out, I feel like it, yeah, that works. That, it works with a normal bearing. So why propagator bearing? What do you do? It doesn't say anything, but it's got a hole in the middle, and I don't know what that does. Why does it have a hole? All right, I looked at the image on the website, and it looks like they've got a gearbox on it. I'm not sure if that's... Oh yeah, wait, does the gearbox spin? Yeah, the gearbox is spinning. It's kind of hard to see, because I have to move around with it. But the shafts inside looks like they're rotating. So if you place a shaft on here, that's gonna spin. Oh, so that's what it does. Huh. How many bearings can we place on a bearing? Is there a max amount of bearings that can be placed on a bearing before the bear? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Right, so everything's moving now. And actually, I want to get rid of the blocks down here so we can see this thing in its full glory. If this works, it's going to look so cool. So what we need to do is slow this down so that we can glue. There we go. And now we can place another creative motor on here. And that's going to make the rest of the thing spin. So now it's spinning on here and on here. Like that. All right, and then final one. This is so confusing. No, wait, oh no. Just one more creative motor. There we go. Let's start speeding them up. Oh yes, it's happening. And then speed 35 maybe. Oh, what? <gasps> no way. Look at it go. It's like folding in on itself. Wow. That is crazy. My brain is hurting so bad. What if I walk onto it? Like, will I? <laughs> oh, whoa. We just have to try out full speed now and see what that looks like. <laughs> Okay, what happened to this world? There's just trains everywhere and spinning things. So the top comment on my last Create Interactive video is actually from my friend Saftis, and he really wants a survival series on a Create Pod train, which like as a mini series, surviving on a train with, as this commenter said, different biomes on every different part of the train, that would be so cool. And I really want to do it. It looks like you want to see it as well. But before I start recording something as big as a series, I want to make sure that we can sleep on a train because it is very important to me that I can respawn on a train, even if it's moving or not. So right now, this is my respawn point. Okay. And if I go ahead and die, we should end up on the train now. Please. 
Yes. <gasps> it could just be that this is my spawn point, like in the real world as well. So when I move the train, it might not move my spawn point. I don't know if it will. So let's start reversing the train here and see what happens if we stand over here instead. Please don't go here. I want to go on the train. 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 Survival Create Mode on a Train series coming soon, baby. Yes, let's go. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Subscribe. I, I need you to su subscribe right now. I need you to hit.